Are you setting up an Amazon Fire tablet for someone in your household? Don't worry, it's quick and easy. In this video, we'll show you how to use the parental controls to make sure that your kid's tablet is ready for safe and fun exploration. Let's get started. First, turn on the tablet, connect to Wi-Fi, and sign in with your Amazon account, or create a new one for this tablet. Pro tip, choose a strong password to keep settings secure, preferably one you'll remember. Go to Settings, tap Profiles and Family Library, and create a child profile. You'll get full control over what your kid can access, plus recommendations for age-appropriate books, apps, and games. Enable parent controls in Settings and set a PIN only you know. From here, you can block web browsing, social media, and in-app purchases for a safer experience. Set daily screen time limits and educational goals right from your child's profile. You can even customize time limits for reading, apps, and videos. Use Amazon's parent dashboard to monitor activity, adjust settings, and check in on your child's usage anytime from any browser. Looking for extra kid-friendly content? Consider Amazon Kids Plus, which offers books, games, and videos tailored to your child's age. It's an optional subscription that adds even more fun and learning opportunities. Make sure to download Kinzu Messenger, a COPA-compliant, kid-safe app for messaging, group calls, and non-addictive games, all controlled by parents. You can also add Kinzu Together, which lets kids play games, read books, and do puzzles with grandparents or other family members who live far away or are traveling. And there you have it. Following these steps, your child's Fire Tablet is now ready for safe learning and play, all with you in control. For even more tips on setting up devices, managing screen time, and choosing the right apps for kids, visit our blog at kinzu.com. It's packed with guides and resources to help you navigate technology confidently as a parent. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful tech videos just like this one. We'll see you next time. Bye!